The death penalty debate in this country is coming to a head again, with Maryland saying it doesn't want to kill its inmates anymore. The state legislator voted to abolish the death penalty, and the law is currently on Governor O'Malley's desk awaiting a signature. Maryland would be the 18th state to abolish the death penalty. Take a look at this map. All the states in red have the death penalty, the ones in white don't. Who says the United States? Iran, North Korea, Saudi Arabia, who says they can't agree on anything? One common link, they all still practice executions. Here's another map for you. All of these countries use the death penalty. The world's top executioners in 2011 were China, with more than 1,000 kills, followed by Iran with 360, Saudi Arabia with 82, Iraq with 68, the US with 43, Yemen 41, and finally North Korea with a mere 30 death penalty kills. The offenses that equate death vary remarkably from country to country, and well, let's face it, there are a lot of justifications countries use to kill criminals. For instance, being a homosexual in the U.S. does not get your head cut off here as it does in Saudi Arabia. And apostasy garners execution in Iran, but you can convert whomever you want freely in the U.S. to any religion. The biggest reason the United States sends people to death row? Murder. Technically, treason is still in the books here, too, but as the death penalty offense goes, no matter what, though, countries who kill, killing is still killing. As a continuation of the, brotherly, of the brotherly love, the United States stepped in, joining forces with their fellow death penalty nations to continue the practice, making sure the United Nations doesn't even think of establishing a moratorium on executions. The international body was considering it back in November of 2012. Incidentally, the United States is the only country from the prominent G8 group of leading global economies to still carry out executions. 88% of U.S. criminologists say that the death penalty is not a proven deterrent for homicide, and so abolishing the death penalty will not increase the homicide rates in the U.S. The cost of the death penalty to the U.S. federal government, it varies, it costs about eight times that of a federal murder case in which the death penalty is not sought. Using Maryland as a case study, the state spent $186 million killing five people. The one upside of the death penalty, it does offer some closure to families of victims of violent crime, and some of the states will still have a recourse for those who commit violent crimes. Now, state legislators are deciding if the death penalty is still appropriate or not. In Washington, Margaret Howell, RT.